Okay, so now that we have the street level floor, the main floor of the house, poured and cured, it's time to put some walls on it. And fortunately, we know exactly where the walls go, not only because we have plans, but also because there's rebar sticking up everywhere there's going to be a wall. So looking down from the top, and I'm overlaying it with a cutout of the architectural plans. So there's a red arrow at the bottom of the screen that comes into the hallway from the garage, turns left down the main hallway and into the great room where there's a kitchen, a dining room, and a living room. And on the other side of the hall, a bedroom and a bathroom and a laundry room. And then uh, next to the garage, there's a patio area that at the other end of it has a stairway going down to the yard level. And then out here, these doors open out onto a balcony that looks out over the barranca that comes out of the, living, uh, the dining room and the kitchen. And then there's a walkway that takes us over to the main entrance. You can go either into the bedroom or the kitchen from there, and then over to the stairway and down to the yard level. So we'll cut into this video with some work already done on the walls. These three columns are already in place, and the far one still has the wood forms on it. These columns are identical to the columns directly below them in the basement studio section of the house. Here's an earlier shot that was taken before the steel beams and floor were constructed on top of that section of the house. We're going to be constructing the walls on this floor out of cement blocks and brick, primarily brick. And there's a method of constructing brick walls in which they build these rectangles of brick that are surrounded by upright and horizontal rebar and concrete structures. On short walls, such as they're working on here in the back section of the house, they'll construct a single section of brick that has an upright concrete and rebar post on each end of it. On walls with a longer span, such as in the great room, every couple of meters there's an upright post which they call a castillo. Additionally, because these are very high walls, three meters high, uh, they'll be building a half wall with a rebar and cement cadena over the top of that, which creates a platform on which to build the top half of the wall. And in this corner of the house, since there's no rebar coming through the concrete floor, they need to build a trabe out of rebar and concrete to have a solid structure on which to mount the upright castillos. Once the half walls are in place, our electrician Fair will cut channels into the block or brick to lay in his manguera, the hose for the electrical wiring. He'll mount the electrical boxes on the rebar and stuff them with wet paper to protect them during the concrete pour and make them easy to find. And that electrical hose runs inside the concrete pour and exits up the castillos to the next floor, directed wherever it needs to go. The same has to be done with the plumbing. You see the white and green pipes are both plumbing pipes, and those are also embedded inside the concrete structure. When the half walls are finished and have the rebar structures in place around them, they'll then build forms around all the rebar and pour the concrete to fill all those gaps that you see in between the brick. Mm -hmm. 